So I've skated a lot of decks without making reviews on them because in my mind, all decks were kind of the same thing. But recently, even with popsicle shaped boards, companies have started making different shapes when it comes to decks. So we've got FA and Hockey making the bigger, more square nose. We've got Quasi making like a big shovel. And then we've got Pal making a full on shaped board for an individual rider, Andy Anderson. I've got a clamp on this board right now because I chipped it and I need it to be healed. So I don't have the trucks and wheels on this board right now because I've got another board that I'm currently reviewing and the trucks and the wheels are set up on that board. Uh, most people think popsicle shaped boards are just the perfect all around shape for a skateboard. And then shaped boards are really good at one specific thing. Now this board is good at several different specific things, but it's not good at everything. I don't think it's as good as a popsicle shaped board for flip tricks. It's good for ramps, and in fact right now this is my go-to setup if I'm gonna be skating any kind of ramp, and I know I'm just skating a ramp. I've got the bigger Indy 169 trucks. That's what I'm used to right now, so that's what I feel safe on. And I've got big wheels, so if I'm skating ramps, I like to have big wheels so I can really lock into the coping and not have to worry about slipping out. So the reason I don't just skate bigger wheels on a smaller board is because the bigger wheels feel smaller on the bigger board. The relationship between the width and the height of the board just feels more normal with 60 millimeter wheels. It's like as you're scaling up the width, you're scaling up the wheels as well, so it kind of feels like it's what you're used to. But if I put the bigger wheels on a smaller board, I feel like the board feels higher because it's still skinny, but it is higher. So I know I was really positive in my Revive board review video, but I'm not totally done with big shaped boards altogether. They have their place, but this is probably not gonna be my all around do everything kind of board like it is for Andy Anderson. I'm bigger than Andy Anderson. I'm taller and heavier, but I still feel like this board is a little big for me for just a do it all board. I really appreciate the shape. I appreciate the fact that it's got that primo nose and tail. So it's got that curve right here. I appreciate that it's flat on the back and just barely rounded on the front and all the care that goes into it. I appreciate that this board is strong. It's a flight deck, so I'm probably not gonna break it, although I did chip it. I feel like it's easier to land on. It's just harder to flip. And I do get heel bruises when I land on it because my heel actually hits the board in a weird way where it's got a lot of concave there. On a regular sized board, my heel hangs off so much I don't have that problem. What I'm really liking even more than the board is the Indy 149s. They're light. I've got small wheels right now on my main setup, and I feel like a whole new person. The problem with skating 169 Indies is you have to get boards that are bigger than nine inches wide. And when you're getting boards that are bigger than nine inches wide, you can either get the exact same board every single time, like the Andy Anderson board, or you can take the chance of getting a board that you won't like at all. Because there's a lot more variety when it comes to boards that are above nine inches wide. So when you're getting an 8.5 inch board, they're all pretty much the same. There's some slight differences in the shape of the nose, the concave, the steepness of the kicks, but they all feel pretty much the same. That's not the case when it comes to bigger boards. I'm just buying all my boards in the skate shop now. So I can see the shape, they usually don't have big boards in the skate shop. So I'll go to a skate shop, try to find something over nine inches and they don't have anything. They may have one board. So you get a lot more variety when you're skating an 8.5. That's the main problem. Cause I want to buy my boards in the skate shop. This was actually going to be a video about how to behave in the skate shop. I made that video and I decided to kind of change it around. Um, and after looking at some of the skateboarding that I did that day after going to two skate shops, I decided to make this video and then I'm also going to make that video in the future. So you get more variety on the 8.5, 
So I've been taking chances. I've been buying boards on the internet and I've been getting some really weird shapes that I absolutely can't skate at all. And I don't know that I can't skate them until I set them up and try to actually skate them. There's this one heroin board I got that's 975 that I cannot kickflip on. It's got a really big wide nose and really aggressive concave. And it just feels so different for me. I might actually cut it down to an 8.5 and try to skate it on the Indy 149s. So yeah, I think it's important to support local skate shops. And I want to be able to pick out the exact shape that I'm skating. I want variety in my life. I want to be able to skate every different company. So for right now, I'm going to skate regular popsicle shaped 8.5 inch boards at least for the next month or so. The thing is I'm not skating vert ramps anymore because they literally tore the vert ramp down that I normally skate. So why do I need to skate a board that's over nine inches wide? There's so much noise pollution right now. I need to move out in the middle of the country in the middle of nowhere and build my own skate park. It's so distracting. Like if you want to be happy, get outside a lot, get a lot of exercise. Don't ever talk to people. <laughs> if you do listen to somebody talk, make sure they're a professor that you agree with. And oh, what's number five? There's gotta be a fifth way to be happy. Maybe the fifth point is uh, have a good partner that you can trust and don't chase after anything else. Have a small circle of friends that you actually trust don't waste a lot of time with all the other acquaintances. Spend time with people you actually care about. Don't stretch yourself out too far. One day at Woodland, there was this guy on some kind of substance and uh, he was laying on the ramps telling me I need to go out and sow my seeds and all this stuff because I don't have any kids. Um, don't do that. That's a, a bad idea. <laughs> Child support is no joke. Uh, I don't have any kids, but yeah, don't don't spread your seed. Oh, it's finally quiet for a second. Oh, a second of bliss. No noise, no sirens. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, scroll through my channel, check out all my other videos. I've got videos about anything, anything you can think of. And hit that subscribe button because I got a lot more videos to come. I'm working hard on this channel right now. Uh, trying to get some content for you guys. If there's something you want me to do a video on, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.